Hello everybody and welcome back again to another episode of Timberborn. Now in this episode I actually have not done a lot of pre-work of camera. Um, just a tiny bit. So uh, by that what I mean is I've just figured out how I want to have those crystals placed over here. I have to be pretty careful because it, yeah, that's as far as we can go really uh, with our workforce. Uh, then, besides that, we've got those dynamites in place as well. So how about we start the uh, this episode by detonating all these. Nice. So we should have some water pouring in. And making that land a little bit more fertile again as well. Alright, cool. Now, this means... That we can continue our road network going... That way. And what we'll also do is we'll lay the uh, power network just above it. I will pause these crystal mills for the time being at least. Because the next step will be will be really to bring the the power network in as well and for the time being, we're only gonna go. I think this far should be should be fine. And we are gonna need. I'm gonna plan ahead and put in this cross joint over here, the four way one. Because maybe we'll wanna put some uh, windmills here in the future. That seems like a good location for it. Now the next thing will be place this dynamite over here and the reason for that is we are going to need one of those high power shafts to go in right there so that way we can bring the power up connect one of those buildings and then because the the buildings pass power through uh, that's that's all the cabling we really need over here and actually yeah, we're gonna have to let the beavers Finish some of this network here. Uh, not the platforms. We're gonna need these guys. And I'm thinking once we put this building in, that means we're not gonna have... No, I'm lying. We are gonna have access because there's a road over here. But I'll just have to check... If they can indeed... Yes, they can. But then we should be fine. Oh, and it also seems... That the beavers have managed to put in a couple more dynamites over here, which is a bit of a surprise. I thought they are not able to reach this far. Well, we'll give it a try. Maybe they can do it here as well. I think now that I've changed the road network, it might not be the case. But hey, let's let's see how it goes. All right, and now we've got the missing link over here. We can stick in one of those high power shafts. Maybe give this a slightly higher priority. And then all we need to do is just uh, one of those turn power shaft turns to connect up the crisp mill. So the first crisp mill, uh, the first crisp mill we'll have to build is this corner one here. And then from there we can just uh, expand outwards. What I've also asked our haulers to do is to empty this small warehouse. Because that's not really in the spot where we want it. So we'll tidy up this area just a little bit. I think we'll change the road here as well. But before we delete one of them, let's see... Yeah, it's not in our way just yet, so we can, we can leave it there for the time being. And this ruins over here is almost complete as well. Just a little more metal. I don't think we'll we'll need this lumberjack in here. We can pause this building. And we've got a trout that's coming. Let me just pause real quick. I do have to turn those buildings off. And but I think that's that's about it. Got a little bit of wind, but it seems it's. Uh, it is enough for the carousel. And we 
we still got a couple of fevers and showing the right here as well. Cool, very cool. Uh, let's have a look at our dam here as well, and that's coming along very nicely. Yeah, it seems they have completed the other building here as well, so we do have a few haulers. And let's just quickly detonate those dynamites. Alright. I do think we're going to have to go a little bit deeper. We'll just do one more la layer here. I think something like, like this should be fine. And same on this side. Okay, a few more logs in here. What, what is it? We've got two, four, six, eight, ten. Well, about twelve stacks of levees with uh, two, four, six, seven in each. And it seems we're fresh out of water. So we'll connect this up. Let's see. Okay, they can walk here, which means most likely we'll be able to collect some of those trees. So, let's have you finish building that. We still have blanks over here, right? Yeah, we do. Cool, so they can build this platform, a uh, small platform network over here. We'll bring the road across and uh, we'll move the lumber checks over as well so that way we can uh, take down this this forest here and have a, ex a bit of extra lumber until uh, we get some water here and we'll make all this land fertile again and same same in here okay so let's jump back over to the other side and it seems they've got a few links in here they are very nicely completing their platforms. We'll detonate you as well. And I think we're ready for a few more explosives. It's really, it's a real shame they can't go all the way, but, um, but that's alright. Let me just speed up the time a tiny bit as well. And I'm hoping they'll get these last set of wires over here completed. Now for the crisp mills, since they make flour over here, we are going to put in a bigger warehouse to store all that um, all the flour. And then what I'm thinking is, on this side, we'll connect up some... Actually, you know what, let's empty you as well. Yeah, we got Brighton's building by haulers on. And then on this side, we're going to build the um, bakeries. Oh, there's beehives here as well. That's something I have not used yet. And uh, it seems they boost the growth of nearby crops. It must be built on the ground. So if uh, our food situation became a little dodgy, we could put in a few beehives to boost the food production. Can't connect the buildings. Ah, that's still over here. I think there's log piles we can get rid of because there's no logs in there. And we cannot really, yeah, pause this building. So we're still going to have those um, notifications. A little bit annoying, but oh well. And it seems we've got 12,000 signs, which means we will be un uh, able to unlock this uh, ultimate monument, which is the tribute to ingenuity. Uh, I think we'll, uh, we'll leave it for a different episode to, to use that in one of our builds. But, uh, but for the time being, let's uh, see. We've got one more link missing. And there we go. Power is connected. That means we can... We can build this crest mill here.
and from here let's put a few well, actually let's see we can do one one of you and that's gonna be gonna allow us to store a thousand flower which I think is gonna be good enough so yeah for the time being let's let's do these buildings here and since we've got so much wheat we'll make you a priority you'll be done as well and let's see how many we do have four unemployed beavers so that should be should be good Oh wow, there is a lot of logs here. Seems we are doing pretty good on the log sense, so we don't need don't really need any extra loggers. I think we'll pause you for the time being. That way you can go and work somewhere else. Actually, I know I'm gonna forget about this, so no. Let's let's not pause this guy there. I'm pretty bad when it comes to trying to remember all the all the things I should do later. So um, yeah, let's uh, let's be smart about this and uh, not not close it down. Uh, right, okay, two, four, six, eight, about ten, ten to go. So they've done uh, two stacks already. Have they done the dynamite as well? No, they have not. Do we have dynamite? We do have dynamite. Okay. And seems like this drought is going to be here for 5.2 days. I'm reading this correctly, of course. These windmills are in, but I think once we turn everything on, yeah, we don't have quite enough power. So, going up here is actually not a bad idea at all. However, the problem we do have right now is that the workers can't quite reach here. So this means we are going to need another another district somewhere I don't really know, somewhere around around here I think. Oh no, we, I think we wanted to do it here so that way we can skip over and dam this area off as well. Um, yeah, we'll think about it because we still have to... Hmm, we have to build some sort of a road network down. Oh, maybe we can't go all the way there. It might be the case. It might be that we have to build one of those districts a little bit closer than we uh, we imagined. Bit of a shame. That could have been a perfect location here. I mean, what we can actually do, if we were smart about this, we can put a district down here. Build the infrastructure move the beavers out and then uh, rebuild the district center here. That could be something we may want to do. Now, what I also think would be smart is to actually stick one of the... maybe even two over here as well. You know what? That's not a bad idea at all. Alright, seems like we've gone run out of power, there's no wind, and during the drought as well, our water wheels are not really working. I mean, of course we could let some more water into some of these areas. But I think right now it's not really a top priority just yet. Do want to build out the infrastructure over here around the food because it seems um, we've got a ton of berries and carrots. However, with bread and potatoes, 
the uh it, it doesn't seem to be as good so for that we will convert this area into potatoes and probably um, this little section here as well okay a few more potatoes in there and here And the warehouse is almost complete as well. Someone's just got to come and finish the construction over here. Same with actually the uh, large windmill. And then all we got to do is... Oh. Got to change the... Uh, power link over here. Let's make it... Oh wait, just in case. Oh, come on. Is no one going to build this? Ah, here we go. Got a windmill in, which means we can now unpause these two wires. Do the same with you. And no berries, no books. Bread can go here. We don't want any carrots, explosives, gears, um, metal blocks, paper, blanks, potatoes... Mm, no for now and scrap metal but everything else is fine which is we want wheat in here actually we don't want curdled potato so again we want wheat and flour and bread yep sounds about right they've already stacked 78 berries here so uh oof. almost filled our whole storage actually let's give you a high priority and now, let's also check where can we do another... Oh, we could do it right here. In that case... Why don't we... Put in these links. Alright, much nicer. And we got a few more dynamites complete as well, so let's blow this up over here. And finish off the road too. Just want to double check how far can they go. So roughly about there. That true. Yeah. Oh, we were so close to be being able to release water in here. But again, that, that is alright because um, I think what I am going to do, I'm going to put in a temporary district over here. So that way we can build everything. And I'm not really going to build any any buildings, to be honest, like houses and, 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 and all that. What we can do is, is just in the morning send some beavers, send a unit in here, uh, a team of beavers that will build all that uh, all that stuff. And um, and then just, yeah, every evening send them back to, back to the main district. Okay, these are now done as well. Our power situation looks a little bit better. And I'm hoping with the additional large windmill, we should be uh, should be pretty good then. Yeah, seems like we're already in the positive. Let's do another check on the TAM. we got two, four, six, seven now. Okay, so they've done another s stack, which is not bad at all. Uh, food is going down fast, actually. Oh. We have a problem. Died of hunger. Oh, yeah. I totally missed some of those notifications. Uh, yikes. So, oh, we are going to have to send some... Um, let's see. Let's send some carrots in. That's going to be a high priority for you guys. Now, what happened over here? Got no food at all. Wait, we do have... No, we don't even have potatoes. Okay, so that is a big problem. It seems 
our population has grown slightly larger than we expected. So yeah, we'll put in a few a few more carrots here and there. Do we have people working here? We do. And let's have you on harvesting once again. I think when it comes to logs. Yeah, I might convert all of this into into farmland soon. We'll leave these few trees in. Uh, actually, could you please chop down most of these as well? I do want to leave a couple of them in. Just to make it look a little bit nicer. But the rest, I do think we want to put some more, some more carrots. Let's see, we can squeeze in a few, few extras in here. All right. Should have a little bit of food now. Good. Ooh, because if they run out of carrots, that means that's what's gonna happen here as well, because. We are exporting carrots from, from this distribution post over here into, into our third district. So we definitely don't want this to happen. Okay, slowly but surely. Where, where are you guys at? What is going in on here? There's only a few carrots. Why are you all slacking off? Uh, stock carrots. Oh, so maybe the holders have to first bring stuff in here. Right. Okay, could be checked. So it seems, uh, yeah, those viewers are just waiting for those carrots to be delivered to this building here. Right, well, that's good to know. Uh, let's jump back into our crisp mill location over here. And we've got a second windmill in as well. So now... Let's see. Got a bit of flour. And they still haven't emptied this building here for some reason. Oh, because I have not clicked empty the storage. How smart of me. Right, and lastly, we want some bakeries in. So I'm thinking, for the time being, good place. Let's do one over here. Just for now. Since we've got two unemployed people, well, one, zero, okay. Uh, yeah, I guess a few of them have passed away. Oh, and here we go. Here's the army of beavers emptying the war warehouse now. Nice. And how are we doing with carrots? Oh, still very bad. Okay, well, it is going to take a little bit of time, so... That is okay. Let's do you guys focus on planting. How many unemployed? Zero unemployed. Okay, everyone's got a job now. Well, you guys don't really have a lot to do, so... Let's take you out from those houses. Workplaces, I mean. They've finished the bath up here. That's good. We can get a few, few more logs from here. Are they able to reach? They are not. And that is okay. We can always just build a new set. Like so. And we'll speed up the time just a bit as well. Get this built. And then we're going to close them down. Okay, three is enough. I don't want them to jump into that building over there. So what we can do is... We'll delete a couple of you. And since... 
there's quite a few logs there. Yeah, let's do one more. Okay, good. We're almost there. Just a, just a tiny bit, and then I have to fill the middle as well. But the middle bit should be going a lot faster because they can come from both sides. And, and uh, we don't have to do it one section at a time. Uh, since we've got access to everything here, it should be a lot more smoother experience okay and seems the drought is now over we can turn on few pumps just to keep our water levels up uh, food is still an issue yep that is not gonna help anyone. Well, I'm hoping those haulers are bringing more carrots. They are. So that's good at least. I just don't know if they're bringing them fast enough. We got like, what is it? 1,900 carrots here. Yep, and we're just releasing some water. I think at least. Are we? Or are we not? Now we should be. Yep. Some more water. To keep the land fertile here as well. Okay, we'll leave it for just a little bit. And it uh, seems like... Where is our... I want to speed up you actually as well. And all we gotta do now is move across this production over here and make this more like a centralized processing area for for wheat and um, I'm thinking maybe potatoes as well. And then we're gonna have to replant some carrots over here. But um, essentially that's gonna be it for this episode. I uh, do appreciate it, everyone uh, watching the uh, watching this episode and. Uh, Hopefully see you once again in the next one.